Welcome to TRS Clips, where you'll find happiness through your own curiosity. This is a right point on the show to actually get into the science. Hmm. So uh, you can go as deep as you want because that's what I've realized about this audience. So go into like hyper deep biology. Hmm. We'll also come out into very practical everyday yeah, yeah. solutions that an average non-science student can also understand. But let's start with the deep science so people at least get comfortable about what they are dealing with in terms of their own face and their own skin. Hmm. So ma'am, over to you. Wherever you wish to begin the science... We can begin there. <laughs> so I was thinking, let's start from the cell, right? Hmm. Understanding why are we aging? So one is, there's a lot of studies still happening. Nothing is very, very conclusive and written in stone. There's so much new things happening. Because of the longevity right now, we've, we've found a medicine for every, every infectious disease, which is the biggest killer at some point of time. Cardiac, we've mastered it. Renal, we've mastered it. We've literally mastered everything. So longevity is going to be a boon or a bane. It's boon or a bane? You live forever. Would you want to? I don't want to for sure. And firstly, if I want to live forever, I want someone telling me I will look a certain way, feel a certain way, have a certain energy. Mm, Where I'm living, what am I doing? Mm. I still want to be able to do new things, same things, different things, but I want to do. Fair. That youthfulness in my energy, looks, life, system, organs, whatever you call, has to be there, right? Mm. So longevity can't be on a one-track note. Just I'm living. Mm. I'm doing what? Mm. And wow. so, so that is why I told it could be a bane. Unless that is also understood very well to say, how do you keep the rest of the things alive? So my whole point is, a lot of work is being done. That is why focusing on that place. Uh, we'll, we'll tell you about trends also. We can discuss later of what's happening and what's not right. But the cellular level, there are multiple theories. One theory is shortening of telomerase, telomer, which has been happening for a while, which is cutting off of the edges of your DNA coding, strand. Yeah, coding strand. Mm, like, so that is what is happening. Got it. So that is one. Now we know that is also, yes, it's getting shorter. So it's not able to really put the message properly and replicate properly in exactly how it should be. Okay. So, so it is altering its functions as it goes along and so only aging is happening. Hmm. That is one. Two, senescence, which means a cell is dead to multiply. But it is not fully dead. It is also sitting there and eating your food. It is also putting out its waste. So that is causing problem in the system, hmm. which we may call as inflammation, oxidative stress, all of this. Yeah. So that is happening. Cell cellular senescence is another line of thought and topic of why we are aging. Next one is that the potency of the cell to multiply itself in the exact same replica is going down. Exhaustion is happening. So that is another theory of cellular exhaustion itself. Then you have methylation, which is Methyls end up myth coming and sticking itself everywhere. So the DNA is not able to do its job well and express well. Methylation is one more theory that is happening. Then there is mTOR, which is mammalian target of rapamycin. Now you're supposed to have a down-regulated mTOR. When it starts to up-regulate, it is adverse for your aging. Basically, you start aging faster. Now, mTOR is something which clears out your bad protein. So, let's just keep it at that. Okay. Just small pause on huh. you. Sorry. Huh. Uh, but I'm noticing that other than that uh, shortening of telomeres theory, in all these other theories, it's basically like the excretory system of your cell stops working well. In terms of... your Not just excretory. Basic function only. I am supposed to be a doctor. I forget to be a doctor. Hmm. I'm it alive. I'm here. But I've forgotten how to... Got it. Diagnose. Like, then I am uh, going to act like a yeah anything, na? Like it, to make it very easy to understand for the average person, in the same way that say a hundred and something year old person becomes maybe bedridden, maybe their mind stops working slowly. Mm. In the same way, your cells are also working the same way. The cell, cell, cell is made the mind, made yeah. the brain, right? Yeah. Cell, cell, cell is made your stomach. Hmm. Cell, cell, cell is made your kidney. Hmm. So if those cells work Stop. weirdly, hmm. the group of the cell which is made a liver or become a kidney. Is working differently. God. So that this, is what happens. This is the root of aging. Correct. And it's not easy to solve this root problem. Because it is not fully understood. Hmm. If I understand, I'll not age only, no? Hmm. I'll have a medicine. I'll, that, like, that's why that rapamycin became, right now, is the most talked about drug of longevity. Rapamycin. If you go and Google search and the internet people can look at it, that rapamycin, which was just an anti 
fungal i think it was antiviral or antifungal i've forgotten which now has brought in because it is supposed to down regulate your tor which i was talking about mtor so that is big they say you can go back by 10 years if you start doing it go back by 10 yeah, years yeah as in become youthful by 10 years damn and then there is a metformin which is another drug now that we are talking drug there's metformin as another drug heavily talked about saying this is your youth drug it is actually an anti diabetic drug mm. but if you end up taking a certain dose on every day basis i know of two senior dermatologists i i don't want to name them just for the sake of their um, uh, in identity protection but beautiful two senior dermatologists who i love and respect husband and wife in their 80s are taking metformin for a long time you should just see them you should just see them they are like so youthful i'm not saying he doesn't have a wrinkle he doesn't have a line he doesn't have a dip on his face or whatever whatever all that is there or not there he is erect bone density is good you can see he's so active you should see his lecture actively practicing both of them the most well dressed man i've ever seen knows his wines knows how to talk to you most polite like he's like wow mm. so to me there are so many things which is doing it but one of the things that he does is along with lifestyle and exercise and xyz blah, 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 metformin is one thing that he takes so he is the one who initiated me to think metformin not that i started taking it think metformin internationally it's a big deal people are doing it now so what it says is the way your insulin uh, and your glucose behaves that is what this ends up changing also it ends up changing and in fact reduces the atp which is your energy giving thing we all know that right so it reduces the atp production of a cell now that should be counterproductive but when the atp slightly slowed down cell things are eh atp is slowing down full gas to i will make more atp it's like giving your cell more sleep no it is by cheating it saying my feedback is deprived a little oh i'm deprived i will do it more it's like a teenager ah oh, okay so it's like that Reverse you're not ha huh, you're not resting it you're basically showing it that i'm depleted depleted i will work harder is wow. what it's going to take on okay so that is that's how a metformin works so mm. it works in at those levels to make sure your whole organ protection is done really well hmm. yes even a non diabetic can take it it's it's got nothing to do with your glycemic uh, intake so that's or your way it is metabolized it's a, even a non diabetic can take it no this is not prescription i am not telling you anything here please this is a disclaimer i'm just explaining science you need to go to your doctor to figure out whether you should or should not take it sure uh, so that is the after rapamycin this is another drug that is really talked about then there is um, sirtuins which is the topic today so there is this doctor phd doctor called as uh, david sinclair who is a harvard scientist he is doing a lot of work on anti aging so if you look him up or look at his book he talks about something called as sirtuins there are seven sirtuins described by him one and three i think are studied well and these are to be up regulated so like an mtor has to be down regulated for you to stop aging or reverse aging or be better at aging while your sirtuins are supposed to be up regulated up regulated means increased it should get better yes it should okay. be increased in your body now let's just leave science at that now all of this that i described methylation also i spoke about right the methyls come and methyls come and join and they are they are like sitting on top of your dna structure so they don't let it express properly hmm. that's another thought of how aging happens um the other interesting thought which is actually come to a little bit of application is cellular communication hmm what you popularly call at um, exosomes now which is used in hair treatment and skin treatment so exosomes we understood is not just the cell is dying cell is changing cell is not reproducing cells are forgetting to communicate with each other that is also causing problem that is also causing aging so we said okay let us put some communicators back let us teach them back how to communicate with each other so they are now friends and they remember to how to work in a group and go on so that's the newer one also which is cell to cell communication exosome is the technical term for it mitochondria another big thing for you to understand you, a lot some 2 3 years ago mitochondria was a buzzword oh mitochondria mitochondria mitochondrial health mitochondrial aging yes that is your energy source in every cell so mitochondrial aging can also cause aging so in this is this by and large thing that i gave you of aging 
if i have to simplify cellular aging and tell you what you can do at home to make the age cell age less everything here only comes down to two or three important things <laughs> one is oxidative stress one is inflammation and then the last is that bad protein sitting that's it hey if you enjoyed today's clip make sure you check out all the other clips we've uploaded on this channel you'll find a clip related to almost every single topic as long as you're willing to search for it